United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
into the mainstream society, becoming the medium for human communication. Your favorite department store may now be Amazon.com. Newspapers still exist, however, RSS feeds, blogs, and social networks give us instantaneous updates. Your phones, you can play games, take photos, use as a GPS device, answer emails, and of course, text your friends. Social networking now means Facebook and Twitter. Personal tablets have taken over the once cool laptops. You can now watch a movie from anywhere. And hybrids are smarter cars. Where will this all stop? Who knows? We live in exciting times. As exciting as this fast-paced life is, I ask that you all use this wonderful technology with integrity. Use it as a tool for positive change and success. But all the while, please remember that nothing can ever take the place of face-to-face -face interaction. It is what will finally win you a job and help you keep it, and what will help you build many wonderful and meaningful relationships with your friends. So please give your thumbs a rest every now and then. Let's go back just a few to a minute ago to the quality time we spent with our families during Irene and Alfred. We learned that board games could be fun, that reading could take you to wonderful, enlightening, and fun places, that taking a nap was good for the soul, and family really does come first. And this is what will help you to find what truly is in your heart. I would like to end with a poem written by one of your classmates, Peter Terenzi. <laughs> The meaning, the meaning of life. Some say I'm crazy. Some say I'm crazy. That for which I search for cannot be found. So I ask them, by what rules are we made bound? The sky is the limit. Ask and you shall receive. Search and you shall find. No matter how large be the field of strife, what's worth the prize is worth the fight. Promise me, don't ever lose sight of the meaning of life. You have created a community of friends and a family here at Daniel Hand High School. I ask that you keep this community in your heart and that you take it with you, the spirit of creating new and wonderful communities. I know that you will make this world a better place for all of us. How is that? Mr. Scarice, I have the honor of presenting to you the 330 members of the class of 2012 who have successfully met the academic requirements of the state of Connecticut and the Madison Board of Education and are entitled to receive their diplomas. Nicholas Ryan Atherman. <laughs> <laughs> 